Hi guys, welcome to another edition of You Are Not Alone. I am your host, Navon Beta, and today I'm going to be talking about a man by the name of Taj Patterson. Um, on December 2013, he was assaulted by three Jewish men um, in Willing Wilsonburg, uh, Brooklyn. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple images of the man. Taj Patterson and the and the um, the assault or the aftermath of the assault. So here you go. Okay, so the three um, gentlemen that that did all this uh, damage to him and assaulted him. Um, were Adam Winkler, who was 40 years old. There was a guy by the name of Mayor. Um, his last name is really complicated, so I'm not going to say that. But he's 22 years old. And then there's a Pinchas, Pinchas, who was 20 years old. Now, there were also two other gentlemen who were, who they originally claimed to be part of the assault, whose name was Joseph. And, um, ooh, Lord, I'm going to say his last name, Hollo, Hall, Hollander, or some shit, Hollander, yeah, Hollander, so, and he was 29, and the Joseph Fellow was 20, 27, okay? Now, why is this important? It's important because, now, why is this important? It's important because, um, these four, I mean, these three, three or five gentlemen, however you want to look at it, they aren't going to be serving any jail time for the brutal assault on Mr. Patterson. Um, two of the gentlemen are going to be getting misdemeanor assault charges, and then one gentleman is going to be getting a felony charge. Now, I want—I know you guys are wondering, like, how is someone getting a misdemeanor and a felony and they're not going to prison? Now, uh, supposedly the witnesses in this case have changed their story um, twice. So they changed the story from what it was originally. And they already didn't have that many people as a witness to begin with, especially since it happened in a Jewish community. And the Jewish people are sticking together and not, and not um, giving out any information. Like any of the, most of the witnesses are not really saying anything because they are afraid that they might get um, banished out of the community or, you know, get blacklisted, you know. So, um, yeah, so they might get blacklisted from the community or at least that's what reports are saying I got this report all the, all the information that I got is from the New York Times okay so they said that the only reason why this story has also come into light is because of a man named Tony Hubbard who is an um, activist for the black community he said that it would be it would be it wouldn't be a good for um, these gentlemen not to serve any jail time for the crime that they have committed especially because one they it was three to five white men Jewish white men who assaulted a black a black or uh, African American LGBT man so the community is wondering why this person hasn't gotten any chart any jail aren't going uh, isn't going to get any jail time now the DEA has not left any statements and so the DEA um, basically is not going to be charging them, or did charge them, but just isn't going to connect them for any time. So, I guess it's up to them. Maybe they have some kind of connection to them. Who knows if they do. But either way, I think it's very unfair. And obviously, activists like Tony Hubbard feel the same way. So, I do have one image of one of the uh, assailants or offenders um, that I'm going to show. Um, by the name of, I think his name was Joseph. The Joseph... Um, fan so but he's not one of the people that's going to be getting any charges so here he is okay so basically i just wanted to give a shout out to mr mr taj patterson and let him know that he is not alone out there and that i i've read the story and i i feel his pain and you are not alone Thank you so God, thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe, please share and comment. All right. Bye.